You know why you have this ninth hour alarm on the earth? Right now, there's an alarm on the earth. God is crying before we cry. This is a cry from God. That's what that, that's the alarm. Because there's going to be a lot of crying. Listen to me. They were having good church in New Orleans. The Sunday before New Orleans went underwater and over a thousand died. It's not time to have impressive service and impressive preaching in the pulpit. It's time we must know the time we are in. The Bible says in Job 24 verse 1. Don't worry, I'm, I'm just going to be for half an hour. Because this is ninth hour revival. Only since the last 48 hours, you had a man died called Castro. And I thought uh, 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 Obama had the most uh, 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 symbols of nine. It's in the ninth hour book. Come on, until Castro died at age 90. Was born 1926. One plus nine plus two plus six equal 18. One plus eight equal nine. He's six foot three tall. That's nine. Come on, they're going to have nine days of mourning. They're going to start to look at the body at nine tomorrow morning. Are you with me? Any more help me out? I need some more. It's 90 miles from America. That's Cuba. There are some more nines. He died on the 11th of the 25th. One plus one plus two plus five equal nine. Which year? 2016. Two plus zero plus one plus six equal nine. He was the leader of Communism, nine. Or if you don't like communism, socialism, nine. That's ten occurrence of nine. That has never happened on the planet. Ninety years old. He's ninety years old. Are you getting me? Watch me now. The Bible says in Luke twelve fifty six, he said we look at the we look in the sky. He said we be, we behave like hypocrites. We, can, we know when the rain is going to fall. We know the weather, but we know not it's time. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes 8 and verse 5, a wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 12 verse, verse 32, that in this last day God raised up the sons of Hijachar who can discern the times. It's the times God says in, in, in second Corinth, first Corinthians 14 verse 20. He said, it's not time to be children in understanding. The Bible says in Jeremiah 8 and verse 7, the stalk in heaven, the queen and the swallow, knowing God appointed time, and all we do is of church activity. The most important thing is to know the time. Yes. We are living in the time of a ninth hour alarm. Come on. Come on. This event, among many others, is a sign. Yesterday I was praying. I don't like numbers in, 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 you know, in prophecy. I don't like numbers. I don't, I, I don't like the numerology thing and the geometry thing. I, I, I don't like it and God knows I don't like it. So yesterday I was praying and, and God said to me, God said, nine is a sign. Come on, somebody. You know, the mathematical formula is a sign. And God says in Luke, signs in the last day, even the death is a sign. Remember there were some, some guys who were, who were fighting against Moses, Korah and some guys. And, when, and God said the earth took them open and took them up. And they did not just die. God said this death was a sign. 
There was some guy, the sons of Eli, Ophni and Phineas, who, come on somebody, who was goading the church and, and messing with the woman in the church. And God caused him to die. And God said, it's a sign. Nine is a sign. Right in the middle of the ninth hour revival, we have the biggest sign. The biggest sign. I just want to get deep in the Bible. I don't want to see application. 